Loan write downs and bad debts, plus a lasting hangover from the financial crisis, mean Italy's banks are on the edge of a precipice. Provisions to cover liabilities on unlikely to pay and past due debt are less than half of those set aside for bad debt, limiting the freedom of the banks to get fresh credit on the markets. But ECB boss Mario Draghi insists the debt level is sustainable. The euro area economy continues to expand at a moderate but steady pace, despite the adverse effects of global economic and political uncertainty. This gradual upward trend is expected to continue, not least owing to our monetary policy measures. The situation could tilt into crisis if the December the 4th constitutional reform referendum leads to the fall of the Renzi government. Then any calls for fresh capital, of which the banks need an estimated 20 billion euros in the coming months, could fall on deaf ears. Only one bank, Unicredit, with foreign assets, is thought to be able to weather any market storm. To the financial markets, we say that we've always received the message that structural reforms are the prime asset of Italy's future. I think that's something everybody's always said everywhere, and we think that structural reforms is what the country needs. Italy's third biggest bank, Monte di Paschi di Siena, is Europe's most distressed lender and could be the first to fail. It needs 5 billion euros of new capital and warns it may have to go out of business if it does not get it.